Hey y'all, it is Carla again and I am back with another video. And a special hello to those viewers that are hard of hearing or visually impaired. The topic of this video is going to be functional Christmas presents ideas for someone with a disability. We are fastly approaching the holidays and I am so excited. It's been a little less than a year since I've had this channel so haven't had a chance to do any Christmas slash holiday videos, vlogs, or anything like that. So I am so excited. But just a little video to mention, if you haven't seen my video on my fall faves, please check that out because technically we're still in fall. Well, I hope you all are not procrastinators, but if that's the case, you're in the right place here. Again, are some functional ideas for gifts. This is gonna be a two-part series. This series in particular is gonna be focused on gift cards, gadgets, and awareness. Let's get started in three, two, one. Let's start off with gift cards and why gift cards could be important. Gift cards could be important because they can let the person in question get whatever they want. In particular, if it's a private matter, like any toileting needs, bathing needs, like bathing wipes or toilet seat elevators or period panties. <laughs> Are you grossed out yet? <laughs> well, anyway, again, for those private needs that may come up in a person with a physical disability in their life, they may need that stuff but may not want to vocalize it or ask for that as a, as a gift, but it can be such a functional gift that can be used in everyday life. So again, gift cards are a great idea for personal needs or can also contribute towards something, something that may be more higher in price. Next, gadgets. This is a little bit fun and a little bit techy. So an example of a gadget are, is like a what's called a reacher or a grabber. A grabber or reacher can help you get things off the floor or can even be a little bit of an extender if you're trying to clean or keep up with housework. So that's a wonderful little idea. Also, a bottle opener. Yes, bottle openers come in all different sizes and can really help from small jars to big jars, especially if you have someone with arthritis or any type of hand issue or arm weakness, it can really, really, really be of a great help. And along the gadgets line, zipper extenders. Again, these are for people maybe that have upper body weakness in, in terms of their arms or maybe shorter arms. Again, especially with this season with coats and all the wonderful little apparel for outdoors, it can definitely help. Also along that same line, button hooks. Again, with the coats, with the buttons, if you have finger or what's called manual dexterity weakness or not quite a lot of finger strength, then button hooks can definitely help with that. And as a side note, our foremothers and fathers of the Victorian era use them all the time. And if you want to check out some examples, definitely look up some of the vintage dress content creators like Prior Attire or Bernadette Banner. They have wonderful videos that showcase how button hooks were used or can be used. And even you can translate that to modern era with our coats and wonderful little apparel that can keep us nice and cozy and warm and get those buttons fastened on the person's own so they can be more independent. Now we're going to go a little bit tech savvy. You can give ideas for apps, phone apps or apps on the computer that may help a person with a disability, in particular voice command apps like one is called Nexus that can control temperature, light switches, all items in a house that may be set at a, at a higher place in the house. So if you can command it on your, through your phone or computer or with your voice, then that'll really help someone. Again, be more independent, which is what we want in life. And this person, your loved one or dear, dear friend may not even be thinking about it. So that's something you can definitely help them with is again, look that stuff up and give some ideas. All right, now we're ending this video on awareness. If you have a person in mind in particular that may need a, maybe a large sum or you wanna just spread some awareness about this person's needs, say like you can start a GoFundMe where friends and family of the person can contribute to something. We are in a caregiver crisis in this country, the elderly and the disabled. It's really difficult to find some good caregivers that are dutiful and professional. So you can maybe set up a GoFundMe 
and that you can definitely help get this person started on a caregiver journey and then other people can contribute again if you set up a charity or like some type of gofundme or facebook group as well you can definitely get the person's friends and family to help out with whatever they need and the caregiver was just an example another example is uh, money for physical therapy or even medications another way to help advocate either with this person with a disability or on behalf of someone is to write a letter to the person's elected officials Let's stop the video and talk about some fun facts. Useless facts at that. There's a song, an old school song called Write a Letter. If you look this up, you get total bonus points in my book. Well, anyway, I'll put a little bit of information on the screen to this wonderful group you should definitely support. It definitely is an old school song, but such a wonderful song. The chorus is so good. Let's get back to the video. You can definitely write a letter on behalf of this person or really the disabled community for any needs or wants or things that can be improved. If you ever see any posts online or hear this person talk, some, sometimes there are laws in place that have made it so this person may need something. So again, you can advocate, write a letter, get a group of you guys to write a letter to try and get something changed, whether it's an increase in the monthly allowance, whether it's you know for more general insurance companies to give more sessions of therapies or doctor visits or whatever or even public transportation you know whatever the person may need writing a letter again with them or on their behalf will definitely definitely help or if you're an influencer or really 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 into social media you can do this on social media as well you can definitely write a letter or most elected officials have social media so post this on their social media page and showcase what a wonderful friend and what a wonderful person this person is and how much you know more independent and what a fuller life they could lead if the laws were different well again this is part one of this series i am so excited for the holidays i love this time of year so let's just enjoy this holiday season be kind to each other and stick around for the next video which is going to be focused on fashion yes fashion thank you so much for your time i appreciate all of you guys so very very much let me know how you like this video how'd you enjoy it i keep saying this but i promise you guys i will be on video on camera again super soon but i just wanted to get this video out there so y'all can be thinking of ideas if you have any ideas or comments please put them below i would love to hear from y'all get that feedback please remember to like share subscribe and again comment Power pay them the best way you can. I'll see you in the next video. Take care of each other. Happy holidays. Bye.